everybody. I'm doing a Zodiac Energy reading for Capricorn for the month of November. So I'm going to go ahead and relax here and see what the message is for all of you. Okay. I feel... Uh, there's a massive invisible hammer and the hammer just came straight down on the top of my head and my head just pushed down and now I have no neck. And my head and my shoulders are just, it's almost like it crunched my head down into my shoulders. And I'm really stiff. And I'm just standing here. And I'm trying to be suave and put together. But I have a major event that is just crunching my head down into my shoulders. Is this affecting speech at all? Is there some vulnerability with the throat right now for Capricorn? So this hammer though, has, the hammer has fallen, okay? And it fell at the top of the head. So it's affecting crown chakra. It could be affecting mental body stuff. Um, and now the head has been crunched down, so there's no neck. Um, and then Capricorn's trying to pull off about... It's like, I'm fine. Can't you see? Nothing's changed in me. I'm totally normal. I'm totally myself right now. And I'm just scratching my head like, you look freaking weird. <laughs> you look like an event happened that crunched down on top of your head and you have no neck. Like, nothing is quite right about you. <laughs> Something needs help here with Capricorn. So what can I do to help you? You first have to acknowledge that something isn't right. You have to start really being honest with yourself. <laughs> who, who is the representative of the hammer? It, what? So this event seems to have ricocheted from somebody, something happening um, that has affected you in this way. And it's almost like a part of your lessons um, to have an event. Um, that's a little bit, um, how do I want to define this? So they show me there is somebody here who has a, a relationship with the hammer, that the hammer had a divine time, it was a divine event, and this needed to happen. Now, this needed to happen in order to create a ripple of change for Capricorn. Capricorn, you're going to have to feel like like something's off. You can't keep pretending you're fine because you're not fine. You're totally not fine. It's almost like you're going to have to face the music of a life lesson here that you are not <laughs> going to face. You refuse it with all your might. Why? It's almost like you'd rather fit into a box, find some way to fit into a box, than you would want to face this lesson. It, because you've become so attached to consistency or a foundation that you created as a, some kind of a comfort zone. The comfort zone is actually, um, the alarm clock is the hammer that's crunched down on your head. It's affecting your mind and it's affecting your throat. But you're refusing to have anything to do with acknowledging this. Again, they show me Capricorn um, distorting their whole body to fit into a tiny box and say, everything is fine. As long as I have my box, as long as I have my, my thing, my comfort zone that I created in my life, then I will just, just contort my body, I will distort my appearance, and I'll still look suave about it. And I don't care what anybody else sees or thinks or says. I'm fine. <laughs> so that's Capricorn. You're stubborn. Okay, there's a side swipe, okay? Something you didn't expect. So it's almost like there's a familiarity with what this is about this life lesson. There is an unexpected thing. Um, that's coming like a curveball from another direction. But this feels like help. <laughs> it feels like it's easy to take in like home-baked chocolate chip cookies 
Um, and it's going to help you stop being so stubborn. It's almost like Capricorn needs a little bit of the unexpected freshly baked chocolate chip cookie that might even just melt your heart, melt your meaning, melt your identity, melt this life lesson and your insistence on not changing things. This could be an unexpected smiling face. This could be an unexpected warm opportunity. It feels easy to take in. It doesn't feel traumatizing. It doesn't feel hard to me. It feels like, wow, thank you. I don't know that I would have ever changed if it weren't for this homemade chocolate chip cookie that came from heaven. Person, opportunity, um, maybe it's just a single moment where somebody random at Subway said something and it just clicked. Like you have like a warm epiphany and it's and it helps you, okay? Okay, they're telling me that this, there's two sides of this message. One is you needed to hear this message so that you would manifest this. Um, you can, or you already are manifesting it. So it will actually physically materialize as a real event. Um, but the other thing is I'm saying it to plant a seed to support the physical manifestation of it in your life. Because you need a freaking homemade big chocolate chip cookie, okay? Um, it feels like Capricorn, you need this. Um, so don't be too stubborn that you can't say to your higher self or your spirit guides, um, all right, so I have a life lesson. I know what it is. And I have a comfort zone. And I don't want things to change. But if you can manifest a homemade chocolate chip cookie that will help me um, soften up my stubbornness um, to help me feel more comfortable with the concept of change, um, I'm open to that. You need to say that to your guides and higher self. Um, if you feel like you are stuck in a life lesson that you refuse to change it because it's too comfortable, um, but it's actually hurting you, um, you need to just, you have the bake, fresh baked cookie. You, you can choose that. You can manifest that, especially in the month of November if you want it. It is there for you. So they're showing me that some of you already are asking for this and some of you are too stubborn to ask for this. So ask for it, okay? <laughs> All right. That is the message for Capricorn for November. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. If you're interested in doing a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I have two other YouTube channels. One of them is Abby Normal. The other is Abby Psychic Services. So you can check me out there. I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. All right. Thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful November.